this video I'll be showing you how you can send your documents being your receipts or your invoices or bills into your verify account using email. Now there are two scenarios in which this is useful in particular. One is if you already have uh, an invoice or a receipt in your inbox um, and you want to forward that on to verify and the other scenario is if you want to bypass logging into your Verify account online and you just want to send an image or a PDF document straight to your account via email. So before we get started, we need to know what the actual email address is that we'll be sending to. So to do that, we'll just go to settings, open up this second item here, and right here in the middle of the screen, we have the email address that we'll be using. Now, this address is assigned automatically when you first join Verify, but if that doesn't work for you, you can always go to your profile settings and just change it to something you prefer in this field here and then click save. For the purpose of this video, I'll leave it exactly how it is and I'll dive straight into the process. So the next thing to do once we know our verify.cc address is to open up an email that we want to forward um, and as you can see on the screen I've got an amazon.com order and I'll just hit forward on this one and I'll use the same address that we copied earlier that is andy41 at verify.cc and I'll just hit send now you'll notice on this particular email there are no attachments and all of the invoice details are in the body of the email now I'll also show you a second example which contains a PDF document with all of the invoice details. So as before, we'll just hit forward, paste our verify.cc address into the to field and then hit send. And now we'll just switch back to verify. One thing to note here is that it may take up to about one or two minutes for your emails to be processed. So just give it a moment and then when you're ready just refresh your results. Now we can see that both documents have come through, so let's just see how they look. Okay, first of all looking at this digital ocean one, so we can see that the attached PDF is what was scanned in. And so we can see the categories there, the tax, there is no tax on this document. And the total is six dollars, which yes, that's correct. Now we can see an invoice number here at the top, which has been read in. Uh, the document type is an invoice and it's due on the 1st of June, as we can see here. So now let's take a look at the Amazon one. Now in this case, we sent this without an attachment. All the details were in the body of the email itself. And so we can see a PDF has been created for us uh, with the body of the email inside of it. And again, looking at the, the details, the categories here, job supplies, in our case, that's appropriate. Then we've got the tax, $2.34. The total was $28.33, which was correct as well. So that was just a couple of examples of a couple of emails that we sent through. As I mentioned earlier, you don't need to be forwarding uh, existing receipts through. You could actually create a, a brand new email from scratch, attach your own PDF or, or image to it and send it through that way as well.